Hello folks and welcome to today's video. I'm back in Metro Manila and I'm standing outside the prominent Quiapo Church which was established in 1588 and it's home to the Black Nazarene which is a black image of the Lord Jesus Christ said to do miraculous wonders and at the beginning of every new year around about January the 9th there's a huge procession that goes along Quiapo Market where the Black Nazarene inside Quiapo Church is carried through the streets and people here, the local people, try to get their handkerchief to touch the Black Nazarene for luck and prosperity. But today I'm in Quiapo to have a feel of the hustle and bustle of one of the most famous markets here in Metro Manila. It's been a while since I've been here and I want to eat some delicious street food in this local area. We shall now leave the grounds of the church and enter the market which is through these metal gates and instantly right away you get the smell of fish, street food, citrus fruits in the air all meshed together running through your nasal passages. All right we're just gonna pass under these iconic arches here in Quiapo Market and I've found a street food store here that's caught my interest right away. During Chinese New Year in Bonondo they were selling it as magic water but they've relabeled it to refreshing white Gulamak, which is basically magic water again. Here it is. Wow. Hello, ma'am. You like magic water? AKA refreshing white gulaman? Oh, there's a wasp on there. For a small cup, it's 10 pesos. For a big one, it's 20. Huh? Oh, I've tried it. I've tried it. It's masa wrap. <laughs> For me? Okay. Thank you. I've yet to pay. Uh. <laughs> mm. It's okay, Kuya. Don't picture that. Ma'am, does this have lychee? Uh -huh. Is there lychee inside? Lychee? Yeah. Oi. Sugar hot But I feel some clumps. Hello, how would you do? You okay? <laughs> Is it really white sugar? But it's squidgy. I feel squidgy stuff. But it's masara. Very, very good. Mm. Oh no, I pay, I pay. It's clean. Hmm. Masara, yeah. It's very refreshing in this uh, heat here. Hello, how do you do? It's very hot. It's very hot today. Beautiful weather, though, right? I love it. I love it. It's better than the rain. Refreshing. <laughs> okay. And I am so refreshing. Wow. It's like it's your first time to speak English in a while, sir. You want to practice your English skills, yeah? Where you came from? I came from BGC. Yeah, it took about an hour and a half to get here because first of the traffic. Huh? You first day here? No, I've been there two years. Yeah. Ma'am, you have change for 100? Really? It's okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Like, thank you so much. Hello, how do you do? Look at that. They didn't even take my money. I want to pay them for it. But... What are you selling for? This one? Chili? Chili, free taste. Oh my god, I've tried this before. This is spicy. This is a medicine ginger. Ginger? Oh. Turmeric, medicine ginger. I see, I see. I've tried one of these in Cebu. Super spicy, man. Really, this really came spicy. From Bicol. Oh, this came from Biko. Biko, yeah. I, I just came from Biko. Yeah. I was there one week it's ago. A place. Very. Yeah. Have you been before? Have you been to Biko or no? Yeah, Biko. Mount Mayon. Very beautiful. I don't think it's a good idea for me to free, have a free taste in this weather. I'll be really hot. It's very hot. It's very hot. These things here, if you think Filipinos don't have spicy I'm food, the owner, so try these little can, chilies right you can here. Give me one picture. Sure. Wow, nice B roll for you there, sir. You're looking very poggy. Very poggy. Free oh, text. Oh, I'm handsome. Very poggy. I'm a black handsome. Wow, wow, wow. Actually, like the black Nazarene, yeah? Oh, no. <laughs> okay, thank you, Kuya. Thank you. Yeah, well, thank you, you. Appreciate it. So, I've got myself a cup of magic water that's gonna help me keep cool while I'm walking around Kiapo Market. Today I'm here on a weekday and so Kiapo Market isn't as busy as if you were here on the weekend. On the weekend, it's really shoulder to shoulder, rammed, jam-packed, 
full of people and it's pretty tricky to get around but right now I'm walking pretty freely through this market and very quickly as well oh perfect I've walked down at the end of this street in Capo market and I've arrived to the fish port called Quinta market and on the corner right there is a very famous restaurant that serves up one of the most famous pancit palabok here in Metro Manila the name of the restaurant is called Jolly Dada's Eatery what do you want to eat? What do you want? You want chicken? Sure. Yeah. All right. Two. Yeah, okay. One for you, one for her, yeah? Sure, sure, sure. Ma'am, can I get two? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Enjoy. You're welcome. And you know what? I've yet to eat anything, so I'm gonna try it out. Maybe the queues ain't so long today, because I've heard the queues can be really long for this particular restaurant. As it's so famous! Okay, speaking to these young ladies at this vendor, they tell me the restaurant is in this direction, which is a pretty booty looking sort of alley inside this sheltered roof. Hello, how do you do? I'm very confused as to where I'm going. I haven't quite located the whereabouts of this very famous eatery. We've got a few shops here. Hello, I'm looking for Yadis, Jadis, Dada eatery. This side? Okay. Ah, I see. Ah, there it is. There it is. Is that it though? Yeah. Huh? They say you look like me. No. Who says that? Who says blind, that? I can't. Blind, blind, blind. I'm not as poky as you, man. <laughs> I want to try the Jolly Dada's Pancit Palabok. Yeah. Yeah. One to eat? Yes, please. Uh, sit here, yeah? Okay, thank you. Is that video? It's a video, yeah. yeah. This, is, this is Dada, yeah? Yeah. What does Dada mean? Is that her name or? His name. Her name? Oh, okay. So this is Dada, the famous Tita or, or Grandma. Uncle John. Sir, Uncle Uncle John. Why, why? How do you know my name? John? Yeah, that's my name. John Samuel. <laughs> How much is it? How much? Makani? 80. Oh. Is it there? Yeah. Oh, it's too, it's too chaotic there. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, it's okay. You can keep it. Thank you. All right. I'm going to pick this little corner here. Right, so I picked a seat right in front of all these different powders and chilies and ingredients. We've got some calamansi there, some grounded up pork maybe? Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> but here it is, the famous Pancit Palabok, served in this nice little plastic container. The main ingredient of this Pancit Palabok is obviously the rice noodle and then they've got this uh, sort of orange, yellow curry. There is so much in here. It is a whole concoction of different ingredients, bits of chicharron, egg, uh, spring onions, got some calamansi there that I, I'm supposed to apply. What else? I wonder what this is. Is this like dried pork? Chicharron duro. Oh, oh, so this is chichar chicharron and this is chicharron as well, yeah? There's also bits of spicy tofu, black squid ink. I'm telling you, just by the appearance, of this Pancit Balabok. It's probably going to be the best one I've ever tried in the Philippines. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, look at that. Oh my goodness me. <gasps> we must not forget to apply the calamansi over this. Yes. There we are. Oh yes. I mean, I don't even know how you're supposed to eat this. There's too many things I want to eat at once. Like you have to have like a few spoons to get all the flavors in your mouth. A very powdery texture, which uh, Kuya told me earlier is from the rounded up chicharron. We've also then got big bits of chicharron, and I've yet to taste the spicy tofu. I'm not getting a spicy flavor yet, but maybe that's because I haven't had any tofu. I need to mix this pancit palapok up to properly get all the flavors around. Yeah, the guy next to me has done that successfully. I've yet to do that. Mm. 
That tastes even better when you've mixed it all up. It's super creamy because of the sauce and the noodles. And then the orange. I don't know what that orange broth is, but I was expecting it to be either really salty or super sweet, but it's neither. The flavors in this are pretty mild. I'm gonna add some of this, which I think is additional chili, because I want some more spice in it. Let's see if that gives more of the kick that I'm after. does yeah, I think I might have put too much. That is a must. You must add some chili here, you see. You grab a bit of a spoon, pop it in there, and the spicy level goes from somewhat mild to extra spicy. Folks next to me, it's also their first time, and they're loving it too. It's so funny, I told my friends yesterday that I'm going to be visiting Chiapo Market, and they recommended that I visit this place. And they also told me, please order us one. So uh, I'm going to order two additional and send that all the way to BGC for them. And there we are, finished. we have devoured completely. What would that give us fancy power box? Man, I haven't had too many fancy power box, but this would probably be like a 9.5 out of 10. Woo! So delicious. And I'm still hungry. I could probably eat another one. But I'm going to save the space in my stomach for the other street food around Kiapo Market. That's all right. Yeah. First time? Yes. Oh, really? My two. Yeah. Did you put the chili inside? Oh, you don't like it spicy? Oh, I love it spicy, man. Love it. Oh, gasoline. Yeah, yeah, true, true, true. And also, in this weather, you know, you're gonna sweat a lot more once you've uh, had some spice too. Oh my god! Who is this for? Wow! Some special occasion, huh? Yeah. That's beautiful. Very Maganda. Ganda. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Wow. Is that like a food challenge or something? Somebody's gonna try and eat all of it. I don't really understand the special occasion why there's a mountain of Pancit Palabok from Jolly Dada's eatery, but it looks very beautiful. Probably enough to feast, I don't know, five to ten people. Oh, there it is. Oh, I see. One to six pack, 500. Oh. And these are all boxes ready to go that were prepared today. Are you still going to have stock for later? You will have stock later or be sold out? Sold out. What time do you think sold out? Ooh. 6 p.m. All right, about a five minute walk from Quinta Market, we come across another food store selling Sotang Pon, which is a glass noodle in a very orange and red spicy broth packed with bits of beef and egg, garnished with lots of cabbage and lettuce. The broth has a very rich peppery flavor from the black pepper in which they add there. I've been here before. Um, I might eat here a little later if I get hungry, but I'm gonna skip Sotang Pon for now. And literally another 10 or 15 meters down from the first Sotang Fusil is another one. The name? I'm not sure, but it's much busier here. And not only do they serve Sotang Han, but they also serve a few other things, like delicacies on the side here. Look at this. Delicacies and desserts. And they also do Panse Palabok as well, which we just had earlier in the video. Oh, hey. But I need to find an ATM to withdraw some cash because I've got no cash on me. Oop. Oopsie. Can't come to a place like this with no cash in pocket. My kid here isn't like, begging for money, he's making money. You're selling these bags, yeah? Makano? Uh, 20 pesos. How much? 20 pesos. 20 pesos? You know, because I like your hustle and your grind, I've got this 20 pesos and I want you to have it. That's okay. You're welcome. You're welcome, man. Keep doing what you're doing. I like your grind, man. Thought I'd bless that kid because uh, he's out here working rather than begging. And I really respect that. By the way, I've just come across another fusel here. And it looks fantastic. Oh, man's got an umbrella there. Yes, yeah, sir. Hi, ma'am. What is this? Uh, um, pancit. Oh, uh, pancit again. Man, yeah. today pan... But it doesn't look like pancit. What is that, ma'am? It's funny, if you're about six foot or higher, um, it's pretty hard to get around this market because the awnings for the vendors are pretty low down, so you do have to duck around. 
You know, the way I got here to Capo Marco today was I took a taxi from BGC all the way to here, which took quite a long time, about an hour and an hour and a half, and it cost me about 550 pesos. But you can use the MRT and the LRT to get here, and you want to get off at the Carriedo station just over there, and it will lead you right in the middle of Capo Market. It only costs you like 20 pesos to ride the LRT line. And if you're coming from BGC, um, the closest station is Guadalupe Market, and you can change at Taft Avenue or Edsa to get the LRT line to here. I've been seeing these ducks everywhere. See these little cute ducks? I wonder how much one of them goes for. Uh, how much, Makano? 35. 35? For a little duck clip? How much, ma'am? 35. 35. 3 for 100. 3 for 100. Which one do you recommend I get? What? What? I don't know about that one. What about something a little bit more my style? Sunglass. Sunglass, yes. That's it. That's, that's what we need. We need a sunglass chick. Because I'm wearing sunglasses too. Look at that. Okay. Nah, nah, I'm not a graduate. I graduated seven years ago. <laughs> How about that? Does that look cute? Like you like it? Yes. I do. Da, 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 I like it. I do. Okay, I'll get it. But I just want to attach it to my. Can can I twist this? Can can it go? No. <laughs> How do I twist it? How do I twist it? Oh, it's it's not twistable. It's kind of glued. All right. Um. So I need to clip it on this way. <clears throat> I need to clip it on this way so you guys can see. On, on the side. <laughs> One more, really? <laughs> oh, <I'm... laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I know, not that way. He has to go that way too. Oh, you can't. That's okay. One will be fine. I prefer just to have one on the side there. I've got a chick resting on my hat now. Uh, 35 pesos, yeah, man. You have change for 500 or? Oh, too big. No change. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I just went to the ATM and all they could give me was 500. Lucky, lucky 500. Look, the yellow is 500 like the duck. But keep the change. Yeah. <laughs> okay, if you keep the change, I take all of this, yeah? <laughs> One only? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Sorry. It's okay. Keep the rest. Me too. Me too. Oh, sure. Sure, yeah. But that was a great time. Lang, poggy, poggy or no? Me too. I am rabbit. You're a rabbit? Really? Okay. Okay, let's take a picture. She, she called herself a rabbit earlier. There you go. One more, one more. One more, sure. One more. Okay. Okay, where's my money? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you. High five. What do you think, guys? What do you think of my little duckling on the side of my hat? It's pretty good, right? He's got sunglasses. I've got sunglasses. Hey, we're matching. And he's jiggling around now. Well, I need to fix him. I need him to see Kiapo Market. There we are, there we are, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we've got another vendor selling exactly the same little ducklings here. Makano po? 35. 35. Three for 100, same like over there. But these ones are more basic. Look, you get like, um, wow. This one's, this one's got dust coming out of it. Not really have it. You see? Nice. Sunglasses. You got the sunglasses one or nah? No sunglasses, right? No. Oh, you do, but his sunglasses are a little dirty, man. Yeah, you gotta clean those sunglasses, look. Now he can see better. Oh, you got little doggies as well, little puppies. Yeah, look at that. Look, 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 look. Ah! <laughs> how much, how much for all of them? If I give you a thousand pesos, do you give me all of them? Three thousand. Three thousand. Really? How many are there? One hundred? Yes. Uh, one hundred pieces is three. Uh, I don't know. Three five. Three, three five. Three five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One hundred pieces. You can do one five. 
Oh, no. <laughs> so when you're walking around Kiapo Market, there's vendors outside here, but tucked inside these buildings here and here is... Wait, hey, how's it going? I'm blogging. I am blogging. How did you do? What's your name? Your YouTube. I'm Michelangelo. Michael. Michelangelo. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> what school are you from? Abakai. Abakai? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn, you got that cool, uh, yeah, fluffy... Cool. How'd you do that? Run? Yeah, I won. This is punch bug. <laughs> yeah. That looks cool, man. Yeah, look, cool. his is his is like Justin Bieber. Look. Justin Woo! Bieber. Yeah, you're Justin Bieber. Uh, no, not me. You DJ Bieber. No, no, no. KFC. You're eating KFC. No, I can't, man. I can't. I just ate panse palabok. Yeah. Yeah. You like panse palabok? Yeah. Yeah, must wrap. Are you speaking Tagalog? Uh, yeah, a little bit, little bit, a little bit. A little bit? What's a little bit? A little bit. Saan ka nakatera? Ah, saan ikaw nakatera? Where, where? Saan ka nakatera? BGC. BGC? Yeah, BGC. Ano kami CGC? CGB. Yeah. Yeah, 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 CGB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Malapit sa ano, kay JB. Aha, aha. Malapit sa Pogo. You know ABC? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about 1, 2, 3? You know that one? Yeah, yeah. 1, 2, 3? Huh? One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe I, I need to teach you one, two, three. Are you joking? Or? Yeah, I'm joking. Oh, I what, can't. I'm what cool. Your, uh, what's your YouTube? YouTube. Sure. Church. Sure, sure, sure. Megim. M E R. Oh, Mike? I think she likes you. No, no. No? Please. Oh, him. Because he's got that straight, funky hair, right? Mike Angel. Uh, Megim. Megim. Mike. Yeah, yeah. Let me. You got load? No, no. Oh, no load. Wala. Oh, type mo na lang, type. Oh, okay, okay. We'll, we'll, we'll load. You, are, you upload? You upload? Yeah. Tonight. I miss Abangan. I'm waiting you have load? to upload. I'm waiting you Oh, upload. this one's Facebook. Wow, I got a new Facebook channel. Link in the description, guys. I'm waiting you upload this. Thank you. Sure, for sure. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm waiting, huh? Wait, wait. We got, we got a new Facebook page. Uh, This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You follow. pastillas? Boom. Oh, I'm waiting you upload this app. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Comment, comment. Be like, hey, yeah. that was me in the video. Yeah. And then I'll like that. Hey, yeah. punta. To the moon. Go trip. Yeah, vroom vroom. Eh? Yeah, yeah. You know that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> funny kids, funny kids. Oh, look, handkerchiefs. Yeah. Wow. Handkerchief. Yeah, hand okay, what do What do I do? Wipe my sweat. Wipe my sweat. Wipe the Oh, so you are Paris. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not very sweaty though. I've uh, acclimatized to the Philippines weather, you see? I don't, I look fresh, right? You look, you look fresh. I look fresh. I don't look like I'm sweating. So handsome. I don't have like sweat, sweat marks dripping. No, no, no. I've acclimatized. See you later. As I was saying before I got interrupted by those kids, um, inside these buildings is way more shops and vendors selling all sorts of accessories from mobile phones to electronics to wires and etc. So do you have a look around, go up the weird shady hello, escalators mama, uh, to like the second floor. Hello mama, how are you? Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. How many days have you stayed in I've stayed here 765 days. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Today is my 766. Oh, these are candles to you buy them and then you go and pray inside Kiapo Church. How much is one candle, man? One candle? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. One each. One each? No, it's okay. Maybe later. Thank you. 20 peso for a each. candle. Each. each, yes, yes. Hey, Not for like all. Girlfriend? Huh? Do you like girlfriend? Do I like girlfriend? No, no. Girlfriend problem. The girlfriend gives too many problems, no? Man, nothing but clear blue skies today. Fantastic. Wow, there are so many images of uh, Nazarene, right? The Black Nazarene. This is basically an imitation of the Black Nazarene that's inside Kiapo Church that gets carried through the streets on January the 9th. Crazy. It is a crazy event. I really wanted to attend it, but I wasn't here. So maybe next year I shall. And I, will sh I shall buy a, uh, a handkerchief from that lady over there and I shall try and touch my handkerchief on the Black Nazarene. That would be quite a thing. Right, we've now entered a segment of the market that seems to be selling more like um, electronics, lights, speakers. I actually bought a torch here once, about a year ago, that had a taser on it. It was like, you could taser people with it. 
I never did. I never tried. I think I still got it somewhere, but I haven't really used it. I haven't had to thankfully use it whilst being here. But uh, if anybody's looking to buy a taser, you can buy one from here on this street. If you know where it is. Damn, this this vendor on the corner of the street here is sending a bunch of key rings here, like Mitsubishi, Honda. Look at that, hey? How's it going? How much is a key ring for? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it depends, right? Let's say this Yamaha one, how much is that? 120. 120? If there's no sign, yeah. 50 pesos. 50 pesos? Wow. Does does this actually work? This compass? Is that? Yes. That works? Can I see that? Oh. Look, it's got an inbuilt compass. No way. Is that? Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's working, man. We're specific in UK. London. London. From London, yeah. Nice well, space. I just checked this key ring and the compass inbuilt into it perfectly aligns with the actual true ordinals. Wow. Okay, I'll buy it. 50, right? Yeah. You know why I need this, Paul? In case I'm traveling in the Philippines, somewhere in the provinces, I lose my bearings, my, my phone runs out. Maybe I need to orientate myself back to BGC. Yeah. Are you going back to BGC? Yeah, Are far. You stay there? Yeah, that's where I stay. Uh, 50, yeah? There you go, Paul. Thank you so much for the key ring. It's only a, a half euro. What? 50? It's half a euro. Yeah. Or one USD, right? Uh, yeah. No, it's almost a, uh, 50. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Cents, US euro. Love it, look at that. Why don't you buy one? No. Why? Do you I drive have, a Honda? I have already. Oh! You bought it from here? Yeah. Oh, nice. So you're a frequent customer or you're it's a previous a, customer? A friend, a friend. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, thank you so much for the key ring. Yeah, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Paul. Bye-bye. Yeah. Oh, look, you can even buy these little Yamaha. badges here. Yeah, for Yamaha, in case you ever lose one on your motorbike. Awesome. That is a useful buy. I'm gonna attach that to my keys later. But for now, I'm gonna clip it onto my trousers here. Maybe I'll just put it in my pocket for now. Are these motorbike parts, Paul? Motorbike parts? Yeah, oh, look at this. So you can attach these sort of fog lights onto the front of your motorbike. Looks like we've got a live, a neutral, and a ground here. You'd probably need some sort of um, metal bar to attach this to. Get one on that side, another one on that side, and boom! My goodness, can you imagine the intensity of light? The way the road would open up with these pretty heavy, powerful lights. Makano, how much? One four. this, how much? One four. One four. You mean 1.4K? Okay, 1,400 pesos, folks. Uh, what is this? Is this like a horn? Yeah, horn. Oh really? Can I can I try? Oh you no you can't. You need to have some sort of electrical input. Oh look at this! I've just come across a small shop here, and they sell uh, what do they call them again? Outboard? Outboard engines? Yeah. For the little like dinghies, little boats. Look at that! I think they're second hand as well. We got a five horsepower Yamaha engine, a four, a twenty-five from Honda, a nine point nine from Yamaha, and another five from Yamaha again. Hello, Paul. Oh. Wow. What else do you have here? Generators. Wow, gasoline generators here. Useful for when the power goes out, or if you've got like a camper van that needs to run some electricity. Oh, this is a four-stroke, which means a very efficient but super heavy. I prefer a two-stroke. I think this is a two-stroke here. This is a two-stroke and that is a two-stroke. You see how much more compact they are? There's a single cylinder as well. Let's see the inside. Oh, yeah. There's a cylinder. How much? What kind of? 38,000. 38, Two stroke. two stroke, two stroke, four stroke, four stroke. How much is that one? Thirty. Thirty. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thirty-eight thousand is a bit expensive. You can do discount. Come here. 
Yeah. Wait, do you have any other engines or no? Do you have any boats? Do you have any boats or no? Any dinghies? Uh, do you sell boats? Like inflatable boats? Because I saw you sell outboards. Oh, I see. Generators. I see, I see. Well, if I was to buy one of those, then I'd need a boat as well. And then I could go along the Pasig River, eh? <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Whoa, we got engines here? Look at this. What is that? <laughs> Are these motorbike engines? Industrial engine. For the genset. Uh, industrial. industrial. Oh, for for boats, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, for the for the banka, banka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. So you can buy an engine here for that little banka. There are those like sort of grasshopper boats in the Philippines where like you do boat tours and like do island hopping, etc. When you go to like I don't know Palawan, you're gonna start one up. Hey. Looks like it's working. How much for one of these engines? 35,000. 35,000? They got some fuel in there. Uh -huh. Going back to the tank for the engine. Is this here for repairs or is this? Surplus Japan. This is from Japan. I swear, Filipinos are really good at fixing things and being resourceful with what they have. Look at this. They're fixing an engine that looks like it's, I don't know, 30 to 40 years old. What's the problem with this? Doesn't seem like there's a problem. Oh, the injectors are not supplying gasoline efficiently. Uh, so what, you got to change the lines, right? Or the fuel pump. This is the fuel pump, uh-huh. All right, all the best. Fantastic stuff. So on this trip, not only have we eaten some delicious street food here, but we've had a look at quite, quite a few varying items, all the way up until engine. I just noticed there's a basketball court drawn on the street here. And look, there's the hoops here. So I wonder if they have matches late at night when this closes up. I don't know if Kiapo is actually functional during the night. I've never been here at like 10, 11 p.m. I've been to Divisoria and that's running, but I'm not sure of this area. Hello, how are you? Shout out, how did you do? How did you do? How's it going? I'm back at this vendor again because I didn't see. Oh, do you have like um something, how's it going? Do you have something that's like a multi-tool? Like it's got an Allen key, it's got a screwdriver. Ah, screwdriver, uh, complete. Yeah, yeah, it's complete. like a small little set. You have that? Uh, small but more uh, complete set. Yeah, yeah, like, like screwdriver. Yeah, Allen key. Allen key. Uh, you have that? Just wait here. Yeah, 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 something like that. Uh, Correct. Screw, Phillips screw here. Uh, flat screw. Hexagonal screw. Uh, Different Allen keys. Okay. Uh, this one is Makano. Makano, bro. How much? Uh, One fifty. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, complete package. Complete package, right? Uh, small. Very small. But complete. Ah, <laughs> uh, this one is. Uh, Does the job. Yes. I don't know where uh, is this. Wow, it's got the bolts as well. Okay, ma'am, uh, can you do 100? 130. I only have 100. Oh, you have them here. This is a new one, yeah? Yeah. Can do 100? Can? Hey, hey. Da da da. I drove a bargain, ma'am. <laughs> there we are, 100. Thank you. 
I don't have to change for like 30 and stuff. So, all right. Thank you, man. There we are. What's that? A light? Mini LED. Up on the motorbike, right? Oh, driving lights. Uh, okay, man. Thank you. Yeah. I've got an all in one cool kit that's got Allen keys, screwdrivers. Brand new as well. Yeah. <laughs> How much? 100. Yeah, bargain. Woo. Thank you, Booyah. Thank you, thank you. I said Booyah, Kuya. My bad. Alright, I'm gonna pop this in my back pocket now. Hello, how's Alright, I'm outside once again, Jolly Dada's E Tree, to get some Pancit Pala Bok from my friends who live in BGC. I'm gonna buy some here and take it all the way back with me. But it looks like there's more of a queue right now, you see that? So it's nice to come here early. Okay folks, I'm gonna take the LRT and the MRT back to Guadalupe, then to BGC because it's approaching rush hour and if I take a taxi now, I'm gonna be stuck in traffic for probably two hours. So the public transportation is a lot quicker. Anyway folks, if you enjoyed today's video of Capo Market, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like today's video and share it with friends and family and I will see you in the next video here on the channel. Many thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye for now.